All right. Well, moving on, a British newspaper group has apologized for illegal information gathering and vowed it won't happen again in the trial um, with Prince Harry. So this just this uh, trial just began. And of course, it pits Prince Harry and other celebrities against the UK's tabloid press. So the trial, like I said, kicked off in London's high court and is over a suit brought jointly by the Duke of Sussex, other UK celebrities, um, including Cheryl Cole, the late George Michael. Um, so it's against the Mirror Group newspapers, which is MGN. And they released a statement saying, this apology is not made with tactical objective of reducing damages. MGN accepts that an apology at this stage will not have that effect, but is made because such conduct should have never occurred. So this Sue, we've talked about this several times. It was launched back in 2019, and Harry is expected to testify ne next month. So is this a big win for Harry in this case? Well, it is a big win, because whenever you're analyzing these civil cases, you have to analyze liability, who's at fault, and damages. And now you have the British tabloids, mm -hmm. the newspapers admitting liability, saying, hey, it's our fault. So really now it's a question of damages. How much do they have to pay Prince Harry and the other celebrities whose privacy they intruded upon? So it's certainly a win. And it's sort of um, now we're past that step one, that liability, or if it were a criminal case, the guilt phase of the trial. And now you're just looking at the damages, how much they have to pay. Okay. So now even should, will Prince Harry still have to even testify next month since they admitted guilt in this situation? I think so, because even though the tabloids didn't admit fault, the question is, well, how much harm did Prince Harry suffer, right? It could be thousands of pounds, it could be millions. So he needs to still get up there, he needs to get on the stand, he needs to have his experts testify as to what his damages are. Because this isn't the type of case where, you know, it's a car accident, we're talking about, you know, or a dog bite, you're talking about medical bills, you know, past and future, the time you had to take off for work and to get paid for those lost wages. These are human damages, right? This is someone who's violated your privacy. So there's no real way to kind of calculate this. There's no formula. So he's got to get up there and tell the judge there really how much this affected him. And, mm -hmm. and then is that just the, the kind of the strategy probably with his lawyers, the, his team kind of conducting, not his the story, but what how this really affected him? Is that kind of the game plan going into this? Of course, absolutely. So when he gets up there, he's obviously going to be talk about the, you know, the, the, the unlawful intrusion upon his privacy and the tapping and all that sort of stuff. But he's going to really spend the most of his testimony telling the court, hey, this is how I was harmed. This is how I was affected. This is how my private information got out. This is uh, how people reacted when the tabloids published this information, really. So those human damages, that's what he's going to have to testify to. That's really going to determine how much money is going to be awarded. You think he's going to get a big payout in something like this? I think so. This is pretty egregious conduct. You know, certainly in the United States, this would be criminal conduct. You can't do this type of stuff. So, and I know there was a huge investigation that the... Uh, there was a commission there in Great Britain that conducted. So um, I think this was pretty bad, and I think he's going to get a pretty big payday. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.